just as to perhaps have the uh, lights on, so might think I'm always in the dark, but uh, <laughs> I don't like being in the dark. Uh, Beveridge, who I'm sure we all know, uh, said, the state in organizing security should not stifle incentive, opportunity, responsibility. In establishing a national minimum, it should leave room and encouragement for voluntary action by each individual to provide more uh, than that minimum for himself and his family. Of course, that was in 1942, we would say, uh, for themselves and their family in our world today. I, I want to start by saying that the central platform of this government has been about jobs, uh, creating jobs and <coughs> facilitating the creation of jobs, getting people into work, building up the economy after the Great Recession, giving islanders the opportunity to build safe, secure, successful lives for themselves and for their families. Uh, I know uh, the last few years have not been easy for many in our community. We reprioritised our spending to invest in priority areas like health and education. And this meant reducing budgets in other areas. And we have, throughout the recent period, also as part of this programme, constrained some areas of benefits. But now, unemployment is down, employment is up, and the economy is growing. That's good, because it's good for jobs. Which means it's good for islanders. Because we know that work is good for us. It's good for our lifestyles, it's good for our self-esteem, and ultimately it's good for our community. Because if we are able, we should all be working. But again, I know that ordinary families face difficult times through bereavement, through illness, through redundancy, through poor job opportunities, and sometimes through relationship breakdown. And I and the government don't want to see people's potential, their skills and their talents wasted through lack of opportunity. My aspiration is for every member of our society to be in a position to share in Jersey's success. <coughs> Thank you. The United Nations says that while reducing poverty has become an international concern, there is no consensus on measuring poverty. It is aiming to eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere by 2030. They measure extreme poverty as living on less than $1.25 a day. <coughs> In Jersey, we measure relative low income, defined as 60% of median income, currently set at £410 per week before housing costs and £340 after. Relative low income is not an absolute measure of poverty, it's a measure of a person's ability to participate in the area where they live. But we know income inequality, which improved in the 2000s when the economy was doing well, worsened after the Great Recession. Our last income distribution survey told us that while our benefits and tax system improve income inequality, housing costs remove this improvement. And we are planning, therefore, to bring forward the next survey so we can follow up on these figures earlier than we had initially planned. Uh, and officers are working together uh, to allocate the funding to do that work, and I've given uh, commitments in the uh, states uh, to announce a new timetable for that shortly. I want 
to raise income for the poorest and constrain price increases. But this is not something that one government can achieve on its own. It needs wider agreement from the community so it can remain a viable goal over subsequent governments. That is why our long-term vision is so important. It will set goals uh, for uh, future governments that future governments can sign up to. Each achieving those goals in a way that suits the prevailing conditions at the time. It will describe the sort of place we want Jersey to become. And it will go beyond the election cycle to 20 years from now. It will be a clear statement of what we believe it is possible for our island to achieve. To improve quality of life and well-being for all. To keep Jersey a great place to live. To enhance what's special about our island, our beautiful environment and our safe community. And I want to continue welcoming newcomers to the island who bring the skills and experience that we need. Our economy, of course, uh, and our people can thrive on globalisation. Our challenge, uh, and it's a challenge that we share with others in Europe, is to ensure that all our people reap its benefits and to strike the right balance uh, when it comes to managing the population. So next month we're going to be consulting on the final phase of this long-term planning framework uh, and I hope that you will tell us what you think because we are keen to incorporate views from right across the community as we develop this vision for the future. Over the past 30 years, globalisation, competition and innovation have had a dramatic impact on the way that we live. The changing nature of the job market means around half of today's jobs could be uh, computerised over the next two decades. This, of course, also presents new opportunities. Opportunities uh, around training. We've just recently launched the Digital Policy Framework uh, and one of its aims is to deliver digital skills for all. That's a collaboration uh, between Digital Jersey, between my department, between Jersey uh, Business, preparing ourselves for the changes which are coming into our community and will transform uh, our community and will transform the jobs uh, available. Education. Uh, will later, by the end of this year, uh, be releasing uh, a new skills strategy. Because actually, it's really important that our young people have the right skills to fill uh, vacancies in the job market in our economy. Education is the ultimate uh, change uh, that will deliver a better future, better income levels and social mobility in our community. And we should never uh, forget that. Because we need to give our future generation the very best opportunity to create a better and a brighter future for themselves and therefore for our island. Of course, we talk a lot in government about a prosperous, productive economy that generates income through tax revenues. And it's this prosperous and productive economy that provides good jobs and fund services for islanders. You will know 